Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And as you can see with the title, come door dash with me. It's not going to be my first time actually. I've been door dashing for about two months now. A very good side uh, hustle, side gig if you want to call it as well. But overall, really nice. I actually also started just Uber Eats recently. But overall, a decent amount, like, you know, how much you want to put into it. Yes, I've heard the naysayers about, oh, well, it's going to take a toll on your vehicle and gas. I understand that completely too as well. But if you're not driving as much as well along those lines, I think adding this on top of your car is almost going to just average it out. Like if you're not big, you know, a computer, if you're not a big commuter anyways, at, along those lines. I'm currently here in the Everett downtown area. I usually door dash around this area more. I know for from what I heard is like, what? Seattle will be a little better, Linwood even, but I haven't tried those areas, but who knows? Let's see how this video does. So I'm just wait, waiting for my first order. I'm not the best at editing, so I will try my best to see how I do, but I am currently online. And let me see, show you if I can. As you can see, I am online. I am only at like 42% and everything. Whoa. These Fletcher's like having a full blown ass conversation. Like, get the fuck away from my car. Apologies about that. But overall, I'm just waiting for my first order to come in. Hopefully, it's like 11 o'clock right now. The rush, lunch rush will be. So, pretty much, I did actually schedule for a shift today. So, you don't have, like, there are two opposites. So, you can dash now or schedule for actual shift in DoorDash or there's promos as well where they pay you a little extra those ones you should aim for but I just scheduled today and the reason being is there are times when you do try to go online unless you have a certain rating I believe and also a certain amount of deliveries in the month in a month you can't dash now always there will be times when it's grayed out and you have to wait until you're allowed to dash now the reason being is there's just too many drivers on the app at the time Keep in mind also DoorDash is a little more lenient compared to the either Uber Eats or Grubhub. And I feel like that allows, that actually leads to more drivers being accepted, which isn't bad. Everyone can make a little bit, but that means there's less chance, there is a lower chance of you being able to just dash now whenever, unless you meet those th thresholds like I told you. But yes, I will try to find, hopefully get some orders so I can show you what it is along the lines. But nothing right now but stay tuned so i got my first order and it's not bad it's for 7.1 miles and 15 dollars and but it's like two locations but they're right next to each other but it's all going away the back up north and i want to stay down in this area i try to avoid going back and forth unless i i know i can maybe pick up orders up in that location because there's also what's called zones so i try to avoid those areas as well when you decline orders, your percent's down. My percent's around 42%, which is kind of low. Uh, they have thresholds, so 70% you're making really, you're getting good orders and everything. 50% you're still, and, and higher, you're doing well still as well. But anything below 50%, what they say is they try to not give you as many orders and like the high one. Ooh, another one. You, you're going to get used to that sound. Let's see. So 3.1 miles. And it's all here located in Everett. It's called Mama's Cafe. So we're gonna do it. You try to want to average a dollar per mile from what I was reading online. Sometimes you get lucky and you get two or three dollars per mile. So we're gonna accept this and let's go. Total trip should be about like 3.1 miles. All right, let's go. We are at the first location. Um, kind of weird layout. Let's see how it is. All right, All right let's we got it. the food. It was actually a Mexican restaurant. And yes, food was ready. Always keep in mind though that the food might not be ready. The, sorry, I'm still trying to get how to record best and stuff. I haven't done much of these kind of videos. But overall, uh, it was nice. What I like about DoorDash and a lot of the other apps is they actually they actually tell you 
what uh, if there's going to be a drink so you know like hey I'm gonna need a drink carrier or I'm gonna have to use my cup holders at my car and stuff but overall it was it was decent even quick uh, I didn't have to wait but you'll have to wait sometimes so keep that in mind all right let's get you to drop off all right just pulling up what I like about the app is it kind of tells you where and it kind of records where you'll be all right y'all I think I'm at my first location always kind of find it freaky like some of the places you pick all right let's go deliver it all right y'all got my first delivery done base pay was only 275 and then tips is three dollars that's why it is important i'm not important but hopefully people do tip it shouldn't be a requirement but you will know for example if you're delivering for two miles two, three miles and the pay is like two or three dollars there's a high chance they didn't tip. If they're paying only like five or six dollars for a 12 hour, like a 12 mile drive, there's most likely not a tip. It's up to you as individual drivers, your acceptance rates will go a little down. But the two big e emphasis is you need to make sure just your rating and your completed completion delivery is up. Those are the only reasons. You can get low on your deliveries, but you will not get, like you can't, you're not gonna get let go because you're our contractor, you're not, with the company completely, you're like a 1099 worker, and it's like, hey, I'm put, I'm providing you my time and service to be able to do you deliver your product or service to the to pay uh, to customers. So keep that in mind. Don't feel bad about rejecting ones. Like your goal here is to make as much as money, and for customers who want the food, it's up to them if they want to entice people to get their food delivered. Most likely, if they know you're not tipping, and a lot of times people say, well, they don't, want, they won't, they shouldn't know. The people can do the math it's basic math and if it's that's to a point if they don't feel like it's the driver or delivery person doesn't feel like it's worth it it's not worth it and your food is gonna wait there simple as that there's no sh that's not throwing shade or being mean to anyone we are like you know base pay is pretty low so of course we won't we like the idea of the tip and it if that is something difficult I think a lot of people have said this online maybe then people should just be picking up their own food or along those lines as well but that is just some perspective throwing out. I just got an order. Uh, it was for like six dollars, six fifty, I believe, for like nine, for nine dollar, nine, nine miles. And pretty much, it was going back over, like over, again, further away, like heading to home for me. And that's why I'm always trying to emphasize and understanding now. That's not what I'm trying to do anymore. Is I understand that. It's just not make sense for me to be taking that. It doesn't, you know, along those lines. I'm not saying everyone should. Some people might see it's worth it and others might not as well. I think I'm in a bad parking spot, so we're gonna move. But we're not in the right parking spot, even though it's, let's just move a couple down. <laughs> We got order for Wendy's. Looks like total mile, total drive is like one mile, and for four dollars, can't beat it, y'all. Cannot beat it. So we will get a little there. I'm excited for all the things that will bring us to about nine dollars, uh, a little over nine dollars, close to ten. Not bad for about. 30 like what 10 20 minutes of work but yeah all right we're here at Wendy's and a lot of times these places are really popular like fast food overall in general we'll see it's been a hit or miss if they're done or not it doesn't look like it's ready yet. that was nice as you can see sorry still trying to get comfortable maybe i'll buy like some kind of harness or camera i know a lot of Delivery YouTubers do that. So I'm confirming the pickup. I'm finding some directions. Not bad, less than a mile away. Uh, yeah, actually it's it will bring me right exactly at $10, so. But it is decently good. I guess I can just go back out and just around the corner and then back this way, which is nice. But it has drink areas sometimes, uh, a lot of times. And some places, Plus this app, I think it's Jack in the Box. They double 
the drink carriers, they understand like it's flimsy and everything. Yeah, everything's getting busy and everyone is in the way of people trying to not be here. So we will try navigating around this. But that's one good thing about door dashing, I guess, during lunchtime. It's busy, but when you try and pick it pick up, it can get crazy, crazy busy. That one also, they do have locations in the food places. Maybe now this video should just be removed. Anthony's were changing, but they do have food places, locations for delivery pickups. Other times you have to go up to the counter. Well, that one days, I usually have to go up to the counter, but we'll continue and let's drop off this order. All right, so I mean, actually downtown Everett, like near the courthouse areas, and it's a lot of backup parking. So what I like about DoorDash is they kind of give you a lot of information, instructions, so pretty much I'll be in that area. I couldn't find parking, so I'm gonna have to walk a little bit. I'm carrying a drink carrier and food, so I won't be able to bring the camera as well. I have to bring my phone with it, and I'll, but I'll let you all know. It says handed to me, so most likely they're gonna meet me outside, which is great.
Come on. Of course you'll be there. got that done it was about what was it this is it was about a four it was about 425 so i might at like 10 just got another order for a less than a mile and for 675 i think is the thing which is great so let's knock this out uh it's vegetarian food which is, I, I kind of want to try it. It's like falafels and stuff. Being overseas, I did eat a lot of donors, like which is a Turkish kind of like on those ideas, but it was really good. Kind of missed us, but talk to you later. See, that's the location, Black Olive Mediterranean. Parking's kind of tight, so I decided not to, but let's go. Awesome. Pickup is great. Got this one. I get, I get it's in. like chit chatting with them a little bit. And just like getting to get to like you see oh like how's DoorDash like how's DoorDash treating you and all not all of them are talkative but hey try and build community and you will notice that a lot of people do pick up a lot of orders they do pick up a lot uh, I mean tip a lot just to get their food and stuff so after you go there and like confirm that you arrived at the store you really just have to press continue and then it'll actually give you the address of where you're dropping off but you can see the address as soon as you arrive at the store for but when you're looking at the map, it's not as hard to navigate if, from what you can see. So the home shows where the actual location where you're dropping off. And then, then it's like a suitcase kind of style icon is where the actual business. So you can kind of navigate. And then of course your blue, light blue dot is where you are. So you can kind of like navigate and estimate, hey, is it worth it for me? Because if it's, I'm nowhere near or if it's going further away than where I want to be, like a lot of times for me, then I won't pick it up. But we got our next order. This is number three. We'll drop it off and see. And that put us about at 16, a little over 16, not bad. So this one, I have to actually go inside and go onto the second floor. You will get some of this. Some will have codes. This one's just a work building. So you just have to get to the second floor. I'm okay with it because the tip, I most likely the tip's decent, but I had to drive less than a mile, y'all. Less than a mile, I think. Less than a thousand feet. I mean yards so maybe i'll do a video in the future of just like walking ever i've seen a lot of videos that are very popular like doing that they just walk around like downtown seattle i don't know if it's gonna be the same reception but yes i think i will just walk around and see so okay. we're on the second floor yes i have delivered here before We're looking for a uh, Megan. <laughs> Try and keep out as much information. So in case, you know, but I think I had to go all the way to the top floor for this one. If last one, like when I did Uber Eats, but we will see. Here we go. Megan, yeah. thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. That was nice of her. She waited outside, maybe because I couldn't go inside. But that is the next one. Oop. All right, y'all, that's number three done. And we are, let's see. Just completing order, confirm. She was awesome. Definitely appreciate that. So we're at 1625. Let's see where else we go. I was wondering like, why? DoorDash wasn't there because there's usually a voice behind there, automated voice telling you a customer had dropped off, is in, is asking to be dropped this order off. I was like, why is there no order? Like, there's no voice. And I realized I've been keeping my 
volume down. The reason being is I'm listening to music and I'm trying to get this video monetized, of course. Copyright problems, right? But yes, I I would maybe even go TikTok live and do this if I could, but I need to reach a thousand followers. So maybe one day follow me at the TikTok at Kotaro Prince as well. I'm gonna put all my links to my social medias across, but I'm still enjoying YouTube. I feel like any kind of idea I do now, I mean, it's up to you all. Like I did a Costco haul, that video I thought was doing a little better. It's not as doing as well as much, but I don't know, I enjoy making these videos and I'm also just, the mindset is, if I'm making these videos, like I'm fine doing certain, like if I go eat at a restaurant, might as well make a food review, right? Again, the videos are maybe not the best quality and I definitely need work on that. And that's my sense, like, should I be aiming for quantity versus quality? But yes, just waiting for the other order. I have about another hour and a half. Lunchtime kind of stays steady through 11 to about 1, 1 1.30. That's how long I'm scheduled till. So we'll see if it continues. If not, I might just, you know, end dash. You can end your dash whenever, even if you're scheduled to a certain time, you can end it and there's no re repercussions to it. So keep that in mind as well. Or if you, like I said, there is a pause button. If you need a pause, that gives you about 35 minutes if you have to go grab food, go to a restaurant. Because what happens is when you, after you complete an order, another one can pop right in at, at there and there's maybe no, sometimes no pause for there. I don't know how these food delivery drivers do this, try and record and deliver. But maybe the more, you know, the more you do it, the more practice you get, then the more confidence you get in doing it as well, so. Maybe more and more I do these. But yes, just waiting for the next order and hopefully we get another one. All right, y'all. So I actually had to go get my car checked, so I had to cut it short. But yeah, that's pretty much door dashing. I only made like three orders, but not bad. And like, I look at, I need to be looking at not how many hours you're spending out outside. I feel like I'm productive in between orders. I'll be either working on my social media. I'll be looking at my comments on YouTube. Overall, I think it does break down to about $20, $25, give or take. They actually added a new feature of where you could lower, you could actually choose an hour late. So while you're active, the only times you're actually active is when you're driving to and from the location, like pickup and to the per delivery location. Also, if there's a wait time while at the restaurant or where you're picking up. So keep that in mind. I think it's $18.75 and then they said like tips are a little lower but you can still receive tips. So I might try that in future ones and see which one's a better one for me, but 1875 an hour, not bad, you know, it's above minimum wage, but of course not uh, compared to a lot. And hopefully the tips weren't too bad, but it's simplified. I'll try to work on my videos a little more and take you all more on door dashing with me, Uber Eats and all that. But I hope this video was helpful. I'll maybe make a beginning. Maybe I'll just, I'll talk about it real quick. Overall, the way to apply is really just go to DoorDash, like the website, and apply to be a driver. It's actually that not that difficult. You're gonna put in some uh, personal information, of course, uh, your driver's license, you will upload it as well. And then the verification of how long it takes, I think it really just took about two or three days. It did not take long. Doing your for, first DoorDash might seem intimidating. It was definitely for me, but after you realize you're just picking up an order, these restaurants have a way set up so they can just pick up your, like know what you're doing. It's pretty much built for you to be able to do it. I won't say it's like dummy proof, but it's really easy simply to pick up and start just delivering. It's really that bad, not bad at all. I hope you like this video. Take care, God bless, and subscribe to my channel. Go Thoroughbreds! Let's go.